Welcome back to Ben Utah Golf. We are here today at Brunswick Country Club with a very special guest. This is a big one for me. A few weeks ago I posted a video about my height and weight and next week I'm going to post a video about my swing and getting that right. None of that works without this, what we are doing here today. This is the most important, in my humble opinion, the most important part of golf that no one talks about and we're going to get into it today. We're talking about fitness, mobility, and we're going to assess me and my fitness and mobility. This is Trevor Smith, and I'll let you intro yourself if you want to. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Trevor Smith. I am a TPI certified personal trainer. Um, I've been in the fitness world uh, training for um, about two and a half years now, but I've been specifically with golfers for just uh, just under a year. I used to be a professional golfer myself. I was a member on PJ Tour Canada in 2020. Uh, literally right before COVID hit. So um, but then I played a season on the Look Like You series, a tour that the PGA Tour created for um, anybody who couldn't get out of the States. Let's get started with the TPI screen. You mentioned mm -hmm. you're a TPI certified yep. screener. Um, what does that assessment entail in terms of like, what is it made up of? So the, the physical screen is a 16 part assessment that um, basically uh, gauges your overall flexibility, mobility, and stability and relates it to the golf swing. What we're looking for is do, do you have f these five physical skills that allow you to swing the club efficiently? That is core control, lower body disassociation, upper body disassociation, maintaining your posture, and then setting setting and releasing the club, which involves uh, wrist mobility. A lot of the times, uh, you know, we go see swing instructors and, you know, they want us in certain positions and we can't get into those positions. Right. And it's frustrating for you, it's frustrating for the swing instructor because you both are, you know, doing what you're trying to do, but you don't have the physical ability to do those things. That's the whole point of the screen is that we come in, we check those skills and we see, you know, what's the, what's the problem, what's yeah. causing these, um, these issues, and then uh, come up with a solution from there. I'm gonna splice this into the beginning of the video. This is not medical advice. Please don't take this as medical advice. Please consult your physician, your trainer, and all that. We're just an entertainment show here on the Bend Utah Golf Channel. So thank you for that. What I want you to do is we're gonna tilt our pelvis down. So like imagine your belt buckle is de going down towards the ground, okay. like uh, arching your back okay. like yeah. that and then we're gonna flatten it back out. Okay, Yep. so basically like cat cows in this position. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's arched. Yep, and then... God, that's tough. All right, so we're gonna go all the way back. <sighs> Dude, I feel like I'm failing already. No, no failing. I'm so worried about there's this. No, uh, there's no pass fail, it's only where are we now. Okay, I like so that. Don't, so don't worry about that. That makes me feel better. <laughs> when you're flattening your back out, uh -huh. um, does your body kind of shake a little yes. bit, a little shake and bake? Yes, so that is what, um, so like the physical therapist, the physio, they're gonna call that a, a perturbation. Okay. So basically it's just, it, it's another way of saying like lack of core control. So what I want you to do from here is I'm gonna have you rotate your hips like you're going in the backswing, but you're mm -hmm. gonna keep your upper body right where it is. And we're not gonna rotate. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna hold your shoulders to, down and I want you to do the same thing. Okay. Is it okay if my like feet move a little bit? Um, just a little bit. Okay. Cause they're just like sliding. Yeah, yeah. don't let your uh, heels come off the ground. Off the ground. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. For me holding your shoulders down, uh -huh. You have the mobility to move your hips around. Yeah. It's more so not. It's more so lacking the upper body stability to stay in place as we're rotating around. Right. So a lot of the times, if we're uh, when we're doing a pelvic rotation, if we're trying to disassociate the lower body from the upper body, uh -huh. it a lot of people go straight for okay, it's lower body stability issue. Well, no, all we're looking at there is how how mobile are your hips. Yeah. And now because I held your shoulders down keeping your upper body stable, your hips are able to freely move. Okay. So it was, so it's a lot, so it's um, a, for uh, lower body disassociation, we're trying to figure out um, how mobile is our lower body and how stable is our upper body. All right, so now this is, this is gonna be the torso rotation okay. in the same posture okay. and we're just doing the opposite. So the opposite we're gonna keep our right. hips still. This ain't gonna happen. I can already tell you that. I've watched your video the other day on this and I tried to do it at home. <laughs> it was ugly, so. I'm like holding my breath the whole time. That's probably a bad sign. All right, so I'm gonna hold your hips. I'm gonna hold okay. your hips in place, and I'm gonna have you do that again. Damn, not much more. Okay, so that's a so 
that was more so of a sign of mobility in the upper body, so like thoracic mobility. Okay. Which actually has some something to do with lower back pain anyways, because if okay. we're not able to freely move this around, then everything gets tight. And right. uh, we're, we'll look at uh, later, there's a test where we're looking at uh, our lat flexibility, okay. which has, has something to do with uh, torso rotation as well. As weird as it looks, this one is actually the most um, relevant to seeing if you are able to maintain your posture in your golf swing. And this, it, it's an overhead squat. Yep, looking good, toes pointing forward. Let's go, go down. Mm -hmm. I went forward with the hands. Very good. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna have you do that one more time. Uh, I want to, I want you to pause at the bottom just for a little try. bit. Okay, back up. Very nice. My hands are coming forward like that. Is that okay? Um, so that's a sign of upper of uh, instability in the upper back. So like in the back of your, in the back of your shoulders. I can feel it. So you should be able to. Uh, I guess the, uh, I guess I know I just said there's no fail or pass, but for a <laughs> passing overhead squat, you'd want that your arms to stay above you the entire way down. Okay. If you think you can do better than me, which is likely at this point, come out here to Brunswick Country Club and see Trevor T Smith Golf Fitness. He will get you set up with this assessment. I am blown away already with just how difficult it is and just how thorough it is. I'm really excited to see the results of this when we get through. If you're liking the video, hit subscribe. Go over to find T Smith, Trevor Smith on Instagram and TikTok as well and give him a follow. I noticed you kind of shifted to your right leg a little bit. Did you feel that or? No, I didn't feel it. You didn't feel it? Okay. I saw that as you were coming though. down, yeah. it kind of seemed like your butt shifted over a little bit like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but there was just a slight shift. Yeah. That can show an imbalance. That can show yeah. that like, I mean, obviously as golfers, we swing one way. Yeah. So we're obviously going to have imbalances, like over, uh, asymmetric overuse, uh -huh. because we're using one side to generate all the power and we're using another side to try to keep everything in place. I don't have a lack of areas to improve on. I think that's already <laughs> becoming clear. So that's good, that's good. That means I got room to grow. Simply a toe touch. So you're just gonna have your feet together. Simply. Simply, Simply a toe touch. Okay. Yeah, feet together, you're gonna hinge forward. Try to touch your toes while keeping your, you don't have to keep your legs locked out, okay. but um, try to keep them straight. God, this, if I get to my socks, I will be blown away. Okay. That's all I got. All right, sounds good. Ugh. Come back up. We're just gonna stand tall. Okay. We're gonna have our arm at a 90 degree angle, just like this. And then you're going to externally rotate your arm as far as you can go. Okay. I'm gonna raise your elbow up just a little bit. Okay. Yep, and then, yep, uh, externally rotate as far as it goes. That's as far as it goes. Alrighty. So. <laughs> that's not a good sign. There you go, man, you're good. No, no, as far as it goes. So that's, a, that's actually, I think, common uh, with men, is mm -hmm. that we, is that men tend to not have the best shoulder mobility. I mean, I, I saw, I, I did the screen on my wife uh -huh. yes, uh, yesterday, just like for pr extra practice and everything, and I was also kind of curious. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you, her arm was bent like this. You want to give it a go? And it was, and it was scary, see what I mean? Okay, so, so I want you to squeeze your abs, to try to keep your posture up, there you go. And there you go. Damn, yeah, it's see. still crazy. Yeah, right? Holy cow. Yeah. You should be a professional golfer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not coming over the top, I can tell you that yeah. much. It literally feels like substantially more. Yeah, you're feeling it back here, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. So that's, uh, that's a, this is an assessment almost confirming the overhead squat yeah. is that we have a stability issue with the muscles, our upper traps, yeah. our uh, rear delts, all these muscles back here to yeah. help us keep our posture. So, this is a, so the 90-90 is another, uh, another assessment that is checking uh, our ability to maintain our posture. This is another portion of the core control is what I'm gonna have you do is that you're going to obviously bounce on one leg, that knee's gonna come up to about hip high. Uh -huh. And then once this is set, I'm gonna have you shut your eyes. Uh -huh. You're gonna try to hold this as long as you can. Okay, yep. so hip high you said? Yep, hip high. Okay. Matter which leg I start with? Uh, start with the right side. Right side, okay. Yep. All right, up here, close my eyes. Yep. Oh God, I lost oh, it already. There you go. Let me get another one in there. There you go. That's bad. I'm better than that. Maybe not. I think I lost it. I don't uh, think that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All 
I remember the first time I ever put myself through this one is that I was just thinking to myself, like, dude, I can just stand like this all day. Yeah, what is right. the difference? The second I shut my eyes, yeah, then, I'm like, whoa, just tipped yeah. over. The reason why is because your central nervous system starts to go into panic mode yeah. because you just took away one of your senses. So like right. you, you, we use our eyes to gauge where things are, you know, like, I mean, like stupid monkey brain, we're looking for potential threats. Mm -hmm. So you shut your eyes off and your brain's just, and your, uh, your brain goes, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where anything is. I need to be stable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. To stay stable over that one leg, you want this pillar to be strong mm -hmm. and tight so that you keep your center of gravity right over that foot. Mm -hmm. If this gets a little, la a little lax, they're yeah. going to tip over. So like okay. we're going to have back of the head, shoulders, and your butt up against the wall that flat. Our legs are going to be out in front of us so our momentum's going into the wall. Okay. Um, we're going to keep our arms straight, thumbs up. We're going to raise our arms as high as they go. Try to touch the wall, keeping our arms straight. Okay. So the second that your arms start to bend, done. Very good. Pass. Finally. Got the green light. This is, I think, the most um, overlooked portion of the golf swing. Okay. A lot of people really focus on upper body rotation. Yeah. This is the one, the this is the one thing that I see more reds on than any other tests, and it's primarily internal rotation of the hips. So what I want you to do is you're gonna start with your left foot forward, just like that. Your right foot is gonna be kickstand behind you, hands okay. on the hips, stand tall, and I just want you to rotate open, just like that, as far okay. as you can go. Uh, okay. I was gonna say like I, this feels easier than it should. Okay. So when you when you get done with that, you're going to switch your stance just shy okay so we're looking for so when it comes to uh external and internal rotation of the hips we're looking for 60 degrees this right here from here down is in my opinion the most important part your lower body is your power source your lower body initiates the kinematic sequence of the golf swing so if you're not firing your hips first your swing is going to be all out of whack I'm gonna have you seated right here. We're going to squeeze our feet and our knees into the foam roller so that our lower body is stable. We're not moving anywhere. Okay. Club goes on the back of the neck, just like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to rotate to the right as far as we can go. Mm -hmm. And then rotate to the left as far as we can go. Okay. Just like that. It's so disappointing watching you do it first and then seeing me do it and I'm like. Well, I've been working really hard on that, okay. so. It's trying to make me feel better. The goal is to get past 45 degrees of a, of a thoracic rotation. And, okay. you got, and you got both of those. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So this is another uh, core control one. Uh, we're looking at glute stability and glute strength here. So what, I, what I'm looking for is a contraction with the glutes. I'm mm -hmm. not looking for you to go into like um, an anterior pelvic tilt up here, like really okay. arch your back. I want, I want from your knees, basically your shoulders to be a straight line. Okay. So arms up, big squeeze in the glutes. You're gonna stick one leg out in front, just like that. Oh, I thought that was it, just a second ago. And you're just gonna hold this for about 10 seconds. God, How, how's that? Very difficult. So you're able to get Ugh. the 10 seconds, but it's a ugly. lot of shaking. Yeah, it's ugly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you, technically you got a green, but there's <laughs> work to be done there. <laughs> quick and painless, so I'm looking at uh, cervical rotation. How far can we turn our neck? I'm gonna have you stand tall. Red. You're gonna turn your head to the right as far as you can go, and then turn it over to the left as far as you can go. Red, 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 red. This is not gonna happen, I'm telling you right now. All right, and then we're gonna turn to towards me again. Okay, yep. So- Yes, red? No red, because red is not an option on this one, apparently. <laughs> so. It's so it is limited. Rotate your palms up towards the ceiling like that. Okay. As far as they go. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna have you pronate your palms again and try to get your thumbs as close as you can. It's so like thumbs down. Yeah. Yeah. No issue there. No issues, baby. Let's go. This one tends to be like the. It, it tends to be the most overlooked because I, the, what I've seen is like, this is the least amount of issue that I've seen. Most of the time people are really flexible with their wrists. Yeah, I did good on the easy ones, what are you saying? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and that is the TPI physical screen. We did it. Every screen result, you get your own golf fitness handicap. Okay. Uh, yes, and yours is a- Hold on, hold on, let me, let me see, what's the like, is it like scratch, like zero is the best? Yeah, zero is the best. But uh, yeah, so like golf fitness handicap, 24. 
That feels high. Is that high? Like where, where does that rank? Because that's, that's what I'm really concerned so about. So for most people that I have screened, they tend to be in the 20s. Like, okay. so like mid high twenties, I've had quite a few people in the thirties. So I'm, I'm bang average in terms of like, Pretty much. Yeah. Most people, from, from what I've seen. Average yeah. guy going pro in one year. I tried, I tried <laughs> to tell you, I tried to tell you <laughs> nothing special, even though I'm a little disappointed because I, I work out every single day of the week. That's why getting this assessment is so important yeah. in my opinion, because you actually can figure out where you need to get better at to make your golf swing more efficient. And it's not yeah. just like, it's not just overall fitness. Like I need to get my, my cardio threshold up or I just need to, I need to be able to deadlift 315 pounds. Like it's right. like, it's actually tailored to figuring out not that those aren't important, but this screen, this ass these assessments actually show where you need to get better at it for your, to, for you to be able to swing as efficiently as possible. Speaking of that, getting more efficient, more individualized, Come back next week when we talk about what's gonna happen for me, to me, with me, in terms of how do we translate this 24 handicap to a lower handicap. This week was all about the assessment. Next week is gonna be about how do we apply this to real life. So you guys are gonna really wanna stick around for that. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, give Trevor a follow, and I'll see you right back here for the next episode of Tourbound.